In this video, I will explain and detail the use of the Sage 17 mast raising system. Before using the mast raising system, you must first install two strap eyes on the mast, modify the tabernacle, and replace the existing mast rotation pin with the new pin provided with the kit. How to do this is outlined in the manual you received with the mast raising kit. Begin by moving the mast aft and putting the rotation pin inside the tabernacle. Make sure the large fender washers are outside the tabernacle and the sleeve and mast are centered inside the tabernacle. After placing the foot of the mast in the tabernacle, tighten the rotation pin wing nut until it is snug. Do not over tighten, just make it snug enough that it begins to compress the lock nut. To secure the gin pole to the mast, you will need two wrenches that fit the securing bolt and nut. In addition, you will also need a rag so you don't scratch the mast. In this case, I use a sock. Two of the 97 inch long 516 lines are attached to the gin pole eyes. These lines are attached to the eye that faces aft. Place the sock on the mast, put the gin pole just aft of the tabernacle, and install the securing bolt and nut. Hand tighten the nut. Prior to putting the gin pole in place, I had moved the jib sheet blocks on the cabin top so that the block is as close as possible to being in line with the rotation pin in the mast. Make sure the block is locked in place, not loose. Make sure the car is locked. Using one of the 97 inch lines, loop it twice through the jib car block then secure it with three half hitches. Now go to the other side of the boat, grab the second 97 inch line and secure it to the starboard side cabin top jib block. Again double loop through the block and then secure with three half hitches. Be careful of that gin pole, it might tip until everything is secured. The line should be snug, holding the gin pole along the center line of the boat. Now grab the jib halyard and attach it to the aft eye. This is the same eye that the 97 inch lines are attached. Pull the jib halyard tight so that the gin pole is just aft of being straight up and down. Good and snug here. Now tie with one of the remaining 97 inch lines using a bowline knot. Be sure you tie a good bowline knot as the mate of the mast is being held by this line. Secure the 97 inch line to the strap eye on the port side of the mast using a bowline. Make sure the bowline is secure. This is supporting the weight of the mast. Lead the line forward to the port side jib car track and secure it as you did with the prior 97 inch lines double looping it through the block and then securing it with a series of three half hitches. Make sure the line is snug. See how these support lines are double looped through the eye of the jib sheet block and then held in place with half hitches. These lines need to be snug.
As I did on the port side of the boat, I am now tying the final 97 inch line to the strap eye on the starboard side of the mast. Pull this line down to the starboard side jib sheet car block, double loop through the block, hold tight with three half hitches, make the line snug. Once again, I'm showing you this picture of the support lines tied to the jib sheet car block. It is very important you do this correctly as the load of the mast is being taken by these cars and the bowlines tied to the mast and to the gin pole. Make sure you do this correctly as if you don't, the mast can fall and causing injury and all the other bad stuff to you and the boat. Now collect the main sheet hardware. Prior you should have installed the longer main sheet provided with the mast raising kit. Snap shackle the lower end of the main sheet hardware to the stem plate or bow plate of the boat. Install the upper part of the main sheet hardware to the forward facing eye at the end of the gin pole. Double check that these snap shackles are all securely locked. The mast is being supported by these parts and if they come loose the mast will fall. Lead the main sheet aft across the cabin top making sure it is under all of the shrouds and support lines you have installed. Now pull the main sheet tight around the winch Now snug up the bolt that is holding the gin pole to the mast. Just make this a little bit more than snug. No need to over tighten it. you are now ready to raise the mast. Reconfirm that all of your lines are secure and everything looks snug. Make sure the shrouds, backstay, etc. are not wrapped around anything as they can catch and the leverage of the gin pole can damage the standing rigging. Here I am untangling and moving the forestay clear of all of the rigging. Now you can begin raising the mast. Double check everything, make sure all your lines are tight and begin pulling on the main sheet. The hardest part is getting it started but once it starts moving it goes easily. Go slow and make sure nothing is tangled. Don't force it, you can damage the rigging. Once the mast is up, snug it down tightly so that you have enough forward tension that you can put the forestay pin into the bow plate. It can help to sit on the gin pole to add that added amount of tension so that you can put the forestay into the bow plate. With the forestay attached, you can now disassemble the mast raising system from the boat and then continue the normal rigging of your Sage 17. At the time you are ready to lower the mast on your Sage 17, install the gin pull hardware so that it looks like it did just after you raised the mast. The gin pull should be horizontal instead of vertical. Make sure all of the support shrouds and the jib halyard and the main sheet hardware are all securely attached. Snug everything up, 
and only after you are sure that the mast is fully secured with the gin pole hardware do you release the forestay. After releasing the forestay, go aft and loosen the main sheet. Loosen the main sheet slowly. You may need to reach forward and get the mast started to come down. Only let outline very slowly. Don't let it pull up. The mast will slowly come down. You can stop on the way down. It is fully supported. As the mast comes closer to you, look aft to see that the mast is aimed for the transom mast crutch. Using the free hand, guide the mast to the mast crutch. Never, ever, never, ever let go of the main sheet line. If the main sheet line is released, the mast will fall. Always pull horizontally across the winch. Make sure the line is double looped around the winch. Raising and lowering with this system is secure and easy to do as long as you follow the important guidelines of making sure the support lines are securely tied, the gin pole is securely fastened to the mast, and you never let go of the main sheet when raising and lowering the mast. If you do stop partway in a raising or lowering sequence, secure the main sheet in the Harkin 150 cleat. Once the mast is lowered, remove the gin pole hardware and lines and then secure the mast to the boat and trailer as you would normally. It is important that if you do not understand or have questions about any step in using the mast raising and lowering system that you contact Sage Marine for suggestions and more details. Not following these steps fully can cause damage to you and the boat. Please be careful in using this system. It works well and is safe if done as instructed.